Zo boy army welcome to another video on the channel it's gonna be a spicy one today we're looking at the best new patch post patch tactics so the changes that happened on the most recent patch were quite drastic <clears throat> it is the biggest changes we've probably had to fee for 21 this year to be honest and for big changes there's going to be big tactic changes the offensive side probably is going to be pretty similar, but there's going to be quite a few defensive changes compared to what you guys might expect. I wanted to wait a few days from the patch beat out, so it came out Tuesday, so I've had a couple of days to properly test it. Been played in Division Rivals, 2500 skill raid, so a high level to be able to test the tactic properly. Um, and I think I found something that's going to help you guys out. I've seen quite a few people in streams, my YouTube comments, even tweeting me saying that they're struggling on the new patch. The tactics from before, whilst they're still good, they're maybe not quite as effective. And I'm going to show you my tactics, that I've, adjustments I've made, why I've made these adjustments, and how I think moving forward they're going to work better. So, basically, the main updates on the recent patch, the team press got slightly more nerfed, so not quite as good. But that doesn't really affect tactics, it's literally just a quick tactic. But one of the big ones was the step overs have been nerfed. So anyone who plays at a pretty decent level of this game will have probably seen people spamming step overs and how annoying they can be. Um, step overs were one of the most effective ways to break people down. And not everyone will agree with this. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this. But for me, it's pretty obvious to me, to be honest, anyway. But after just a few games of playing, the game speed has drastically dropped. It feels a lot slower. And it, it's not, to me, just a connection issue. It's not just a case of, all oh, the, um, the servers were a bit bad. It's just like, no, literally, they've lowered the game speed where players just feel a bit slower. I feel someone like Virgil van Dijk's normal card might be a bit more usable now. And the main reason for my adjustment to the tactic that I'll show you is because of the game speed, in my opinion, being almost certainly lowered and changing how the game can be played quite a bit. So... Let's get into the tactic. <clears throat> so, we're playing 4-4-2, second variation still. We're still going to be having a destroyer, a creator. Going to be having pace out wide. It's pretty similar personnel. Not, don't really need to change a lot there. Um, but the difference is... <coughs> apologies, by the way, about my cough. Like I've, I've been quite ill recently. I've still got a lingering cough. Um, the defensive style will go to drop back. I really didn't want to do that this FIFA. I don't want you guys slaughtering me, telling me that I'm trying to just encourage negative play because all year I've been on like four or five depth, press on heavy touch, press on possession loss. But ultimately this channel is about helping you guys improve as much as possible. And right now on this patch, it's very similar to how FIFA 20 was. And unfortunately drop back just is the best way of playing now, I think. You do have two options. So this is my defensive one that I'll probably start in. If pressing is still good, but I'll explain why I don't think pressing is the best way to play for the most part um, in a minute. But I think if you really do want to be more aggressive attacking, this press after possession loss still will work quite well. And it'll be aggressive and you'll get in your opponent's face. But for me, the reason to play a drop back, <coughs> the reason to play a drop back now it's because they've, they've nerfed so many of the skill moves and ways of breaking people down and i'm pretty sure they've lowered the game speed it is so much harder to break people down now that the easily the most effective way you're going to score past people is with through balls pacing behind even though i think they've nerfed it a little bit through balls are still going to be the best way of scoring and drop back and getting all your men behind the ball is going to be the best way to stop that to counter through balls so if you have low depth and drop back and all your players get by the ball people aren't going to be able to get easy through balls against you and when there's not really many tricks or easy ways of breaking you down the game's so slow it's hard to turn quick and break people down drop back's just going to be more effective so i'm definitely going to stick with that for this weekend to give it a try like i say pressing still does work but i think the best way of breaking someone down is through balls so you risk yourself being open to that but this will be the tactic i go to if i'm losing if I'm struggling to get the ball off someone. But for the start of the game, I'm going to be playing drop back. Low depth. I'm just going to be trying to make it hard to break me down. 
Oh, bless me. Um, I just think this is going to be the effective way of playing now. I really hope that it's not like this for the rest of FIFA, but we're getting to the point where they don't really make many more patches after mid-January. So I feel like we might be stuck with this for the rest of FIFA. But like I say, you can have a go at me. You can say I'm just trying to encourage negative FIFA, but ultimately I'm trying to help you guys win. Trying to give you the most effective tactics. Earlier in the year, I, w I even saw comments on like FIFA forums saying that oh, YouTubers like Zelonius FIFA just encourage negative play, whereas like earlier in the year, for most of the year, I've been encouraging high press, high depth tactics. But I think now this is the way to play. The instructions are going to be very similar, if not basically the same. I don't think the instructions need to change much, but stay central, mixed attack, stay forward on the strikers. The destroyer CDM, cut passing lane, stay back, cover centre. The creator CDM, balance, balance, cover centre. The two wingers, come back, balance, whip, getting behind, get into the box. Uh, the fullback, stay back, the centre back, stay back. Someone asked about my keeper the other day. Um, I don't actually do anything with my keeper. Maybe you could experiment with them. Uh, I've never really done anything with the keeper instructions, to be honest. So, there you go. Um, the press after possession loss one. You can see there, a bit more depth. Same on the strikers. The destroyer CDM is on balanced defence and attack this time. Um, the wingers are on the same, and then the fullbacks are on the same as well. It's just basically higher depth, and the destroyer gets forward a bit more. Um, the 5-3-2 and 4-2-3-1. I've kept them the exact same as previous videos, so you can always go back and watch them. But we're now going to show you some clips of probably more so the defending side of how this new tactic's going to work and why I think it's going to be so good um, on this new patch. This is an example here, a clip of just showing how hard it is to break down people in the 4-4-2 playing the drop back. One of the main ways, like I say, people are going to try to score is through balls in behind. How are you doing a through ball behind the two centre-backs like this? There's no space in behind them to do the through balls. So people are really going to struggle to break you down. In. So naturally, when people are struggling to break you down, they tend to get a bit more frustrated. They tend to not really know what to do. They tend to panic, give you the ball a lot more. So when people are looking for these OP through balls and they can't get through because you've got these players so deep, they're going to start probably giving the ball away a bit more. I end up tackling him, but getting pretty unlucky. And you can see here, normally, there's a gap around the middle because you, a lot of the time, the two centre mids who are there, they tend to occupy there a bit more. But because I'm on drop back and they're sat deeper, there's no space there. So when he plays this pass, it doesn't work. I win the ball back and he's frustrated. And you can see here, I've got all these men back and it's very hard to break down. You have to be a lot more patient with it, but most people aren't going to do that. One of the key things to watch out for, that some people fall into the trap with a 4-4-2, because the 4-4-2 is so good at counter-attacking because it covers lots of areas. So if one player pulls out position or doesn't mark his man, you can easily through ball it. It's sometimes people count too fast. But the 4-4-2, whilst not being the best for it, is still a pretty good counter-attack. No, not counter-attacking. I've said it, it's a great counter-attack voice. It's still a pretty good possession formation. There's still lots of options. So like here, there's not really anything forward. I'm not going to force the ball to the striker, so I can go backwards. Don't really know what the guy was doing there, sliding around. But I like to play it between my centre mids a lot, CDMs. Sometimes I'll go up to the fullbacks. <coughs> you can see here though, not doing anything stupid. Trying to keep the ball well. Nice quick passing. To be hit, honest here, I'm a bit of an idiot. And I just shoot from like 30, 35 yards. I was 2 up. I was just testing a finesse out there. I, I shouldn't be shooting from there. Um, if it was nil-nil or I need to score a goal late on, I wouldn't. But you can see a nice build, but I've got myself to a good position. Here, I probably should have gone up there and passed up there. But you can see there with a 4-4-2, the drop back, how hard it is to break people down when you defend with it. The, the ease with which you can counter tap, but then also keep the ball and all the options that you have. Okay, so here, someone's counter-attacking me. And one of the things about drop-back on the game is it doesn't, like, activate instantly in the sense of you put, you don't just automatically always have 10 men behind the ball. When you attack on this game, no matter how defensive your attacking options are, even if you have one players in the box, 
your team still seems to just push forward. So he does a nice big chip through ball here. <clears throat> but just watch how my team get back. Normally, when you have a bit higher depth from pressing tactics, you don't really tend to get that many men back. But here we've got six men back already. I would not recommend crossing it like that, by the way. A lot of people just randomly, aimlessly cross it like that. And it really isn't that good on the game. Crossing, you're more just hitting and hoping. And especially when I'm on drop back and I've, I've got an organised defence, it is not going to work or break me down. But I want to show you here how I counter-attack. So here, this is one way when you're being pressed or you're struggling to keep the ball, you can get out quick. I see there on the radar, I've got an easy driven pass to a striker. It's key it's a driven pass, because if you don't do a driven pass, it's just going to be a bit slow. You see here, I'm looking for the men in space, and I can see my Mane gets in space there. So I do a nice cheap through ball, use his pace to get away. Bit of trickery, go down the line, and then I absolutely sell him there with a Neymar scoop turn. Let's go back and watch that again. Here, I've not really got many options of breaking him down, so I think the scoop turn is the best way. Sells him, and we've scored. And if you look... I've got the ball, and within two in-game minutes, I've scored. And two in-game minutes is pretty quick on FIFA. I'm not completely rushing the counter-attack. I'm patient. I wait for players in space. And all that's come from being organised, hard to break down, getting men the, behind the ball, and the 4-4-2 being such a good counter-attacking formation. There you go, guys. Hopefully those clips, examples of the tactic, have been able to help you see why the 4-4-2 is so good. Why I think drop back's going to be so good on the latest patch. Counter-attacking, still being able to keep the ball with it, getting men behind the ball. Like I say, I just think the way the new patch is going to play is that counter-attacking and through balls are going to be stronger than ever. It's going to be harder than ever to break people down. So the best way to counter that is to have men behind the ball so they can't just get in behind you. Um, I would have liked to have put more clips for the video and more examples. Apologies, but like, I'm struggling to record 30 second clips without coughing my guts up. Um, I thought I was mostly better from being ill. And all the symptoms have pretty much gone. I feel better in general, but I'm just coughing a lot. And um, it's not a lot of fun. It's quite hard to talk non-stop, which obviously is what videos need. But any questions about the video, please let me know. Hope the tactic helps you. Appreciate all you guys' support. Have a great day.